हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड मॉर्निंग ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट आवर इंग्लिश चैप्टर नंबर 5 ओके फॉर स्टैंडर्ड फॉर इंग्लिश मीडियम सो यस्टरडे आई टॉट सम स्टोरीज अबाउट द चैप्टर नंबर 5 व्हाट इज द नेम ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर 5 the adventures of little all okay i also uh, explain the meaning of the uh, this chapter title okay then after i talk to you about the thomas alva edition uh, thomas alva edition was a great inventor in the history and uh, also uh, he was a uh, youngest of his uh, Uh, seven uh, children of his parents, and then uh, uh, Thomas Alva edition uh, young age, so everyone called him all A L all, and all was poor at study. So once uh, his uh, teacher complained uh, to his mother, then uh, uh, Thomas Alva edition was added. so uh, when uh, his mother listened to the complaint of his teacher and uh, the thomas alva edition's mother also a teacher herself so uh, she decided to withdraw withdraw means take back from the school and educate at home but edition was a curiosity and daring so uh, so he think about uh, him so today start okay part 2 here when it uh, at the age of 6 okay thomas edison uh, thomas edison was age of 6 he went missing one day after an anxious anxious means feeling worried after a uh, feeling worried search his father found him uh sitting in a nest that we had made in barn barn is a large large farm building to store grain and keep animals in it's called barn so uh when uh, thomas edison went uh, missing one day then his father start to found he sitting in a Next time he had made in barn. The nest was filled with goose eggs and hen eggs. Okay. Addition noted goose hatched her eggs by sitting on them. Okay. When addition was a uh, missing one day and he was sitting on the nest. The that at that time. He thought about goose hatched her eggs by sitting on them. He noticed the dead point, and then after he wanted to try it out uh, himself. But Edison, Edison was the poor study, so he was not uh, did not attend the school regularly. his parents were educated so uh, he they were refined with a good library at home it means refined means with educated and having a high position in society so he uh, so they were uh, good library at home and he lived uh, for a shelter mostly books on history and science on uh, here he made book thomas alva edition okay when his father uh, refined a library at home then then after thomas alva edition was started started reading and uh, he was reading a book of on the history and science okay here one new word is voraciously what is the spelling of voraciously v o r a c i o 
U S L Y. What is this name mean? Regularly and in large quantities. It means in the library, uh, large quantities of the books of history and science. So Thomas Alva Edison was reading only a history and science book. He even prior reading scientific books that were beyond the grasp of a child. Grasp means understanding. Uh, Thomas Alva Edison was reading only that book. Uh, where beyond the understanding of a child. Okay? And now, glossary of this story. Here, ancients. Ancients. What is the meaning of ancients? Feeling worried. And what is the spelling of ancients? A N S I O U S. Ancients means feeling worried. But, what is the spelling of barn? B A R. And what is the meaning of barn? So, a large farm building to store grain and keep animals in. It's called barn. H A T C H E D. H. H means. Made a young bird come out from the A. Little bird. And dead birds come out from the small A. It's called hatch. Refine. R E F I N E. Refine. What is the spelling of refine? R E F I N E D. Refine. And what is the meaning of refined? Well educated. Well educated and also having a high position in society. Okay? Reputed uh, personality in society. Okay? Higher, higher post job in society. It's called refined. Next is voraciously. Okay, what is the spelling of voraciously? V O R A C I O U S L Y. Voraciously. Okay, once again, V O R A C I O U S L Y. Voraciously means regularly and in large quantities. Now, next is grass. What is the spelling of grass? G R A S P. And what is the meaning of grass? Understanding. Okay? So, then, after we start the laboratory and started experiments, then after, in the cellar office, Home. Edition set up a small laboratory when he was 10 years old. At the age of 10 years, at the first, at the age of 6, Edition noticed the, the, uh, the birds hatched the egg. And thereafter, he started the reading of books of history and science. Okay? Then after, at the age of 10, he started and set up a small laboratory. Okay? And there, at the laboratory, they collected around 200 bottles of chemicals. And those bottles filled with poison. So, the no one disturb and ha or handle them. Okay? The X-ray and uh, uh, these quarters carefully on the steps of the cellar lab. Okay? And the experiments consume. Okay? What is the meaning of consume? Consume means use. These experiments use the boys pocket money 
rapidly. Rapidly means fast. Okay. So here at the age of 10 years old, uh, he set up a small laboratory. Okay. And in the cellar of his home. Okay. So what is the meaning of cellar and what is the spelling of cellar? Okay. The spelling of uh, cellar is C E L L A R. And also meaning of the cellar is an underground room. Okay. Underground room. Used for storing things. It's called cellar. Okay. Underground room. Used for storing things. Okay. It's called cellar. So here in at the home, at the home of Thomas Alvarishan and in the cellar, addition set up a small laboratory. When the age of 10 years. Then after he collected around 200 bottles of chemicals and those bottles are filled, uh, filled with poison. So no one can uh, disturb and handle them. This experiment used the, the boy's pocket money rapidly. Rapidly means fast. And soon he started working as a news boy. News boy means uh, a boy who sells news, uh, newspaper, it's called news boy. Okay? News boy means a uh, boy who sells a newspaper. It's called news boy. So, he started working as a news boy. He could earn all the money. Okay? Then after when he sells uh, all the newspaper, he earn a good money. And this money used for Experiment. Experiment. So, uh, Thomas Alva addition needed a money. Uh, so, this money used into the experiments. He was soon selling a periodical on a local train that travelled between Port Huron, where he lived and uh, Detroit, a business center. Okay? Between two stations. Which station? Port Hure and Detroit. Okay? A business center. Uh, he traveled into the train and started to selling a, a newspaper. Then the train had a disused smoking compartment. Smoking compartment in the train. Smoking compartment not used. Okay? Uh, no longer used. So, which was given to the addition to keep his papers. Okay. He kept his papers that he also transferred laboratory from the cellar and set it up, up on the train. So, when the train had used the smoking compartment given to the addition, Edison used this compartment for selling the papers and also he, he was set up uh, his laboratory there. Okay. First he started laboratory in the place of his uh, home. Okay. And cellar. Cellar means underground room. He used the underground room first uh, when first time he started laboratory. Then after he started uh, selling a newspaper uh, in the train. Okay, and the train, uh, this is the compartment given to the addition. So addition uh, uh, kept this compartment for use, uh, for using a uh, selling a newspaper. And also he uh, was set up a laboratory there. Okay, now time to the glossary. Okay, first one I explained to the story. Next, uh, again I explained here. What is the spelling of cellar? C E double L A R. What is the spelling of cellar? C E double L A R. Cellar. Cellar means an underground room used for storing things. And underground room used for 
storing thing. Consume. What is the spelling of consume? C O N S U M E D. And what is the meaning of consume? Very simple words. Use. Okay. Use. U S E D. We are both holding past participle form. Consume and use. Newsboy. A newsboy means a boy who sells a newspaper. It's called newsboy. Next word is also in past participle form. Disuse. Okay. Or other word is useless. Okay. Disuse. It means no longer use. Disuse means no longer use. So here. Today I explain the half part of the story of Thomas Alva Edison and glossary also. Again I explain the story. Please concentrate your mind here, okay? And also in a textbook, page number twenty six and twenty seven. Again I explain when at the uh, age of six, uh, uh, Thomas Alva Edison started notice other. Things and also started reading the books of history and science. Okay, and then then after at the age of ten years old, he started uh, experiments. Okay, so he uh, he started a laboratory in the cellar of his home. Okay, then after he collected around two hundred bottles of uh, chemicals and uh, those bottles of filled with Poison. So no one can, no one handle or disturb them. Then after the experiments consume, uh, it means use the, the boy's pocket money. That definitely means fast food. So he started working as a news boy, and he could earn all the money, and those money used for his experiments. He was soon selling a periodical on a local train that travelled between Port Huron, where he lived, and Detroit, a business center. Then, after the train had a disused smoking compartment, which was given to Edison to keep his papers. So, when uh, the train had the given the uh, given those compartments uh, to the Edison. Edison uh, used this compartment for selling a newspaper, and also he was set up a laboratory there. Okay. Then okay. this is the grocery cell, an underground room used for uh, storing things. Consume used newsboy, a boy who sells. Newspaper and disuse. Disuse means no longer use. So this is the story of Thomas Alva Edison. Very interesting story. Okay. And next part I continue in the next period. Okay. I hope all of you understand the story. Okay. Thank you.